Utah Jazz fans are back in the spotlight for pretty much the same reason they're always in the spotlight. The Utah Jazz played the Thunder last night, and there was an exchange between Russell Westbrook and a fan where the fan was saying uh, bad words to Russell Westbrook and where Russell Westbrook was caught on camera saying really vulgar things to the fan and his female companion, whether it was wife or girlfriend or whatever. Um, two things off the bat. One, I don't understand how maybe, maybe I'm not a big enough fan but I don't understand how grown men can yell and scream and call NBA players some of the worst names on the planet Earth. Not just NBA players, just fans in general. I mean, just players in general. I don't, I don't understand it. Um, the other part to this is Russell Westbrook said that he was going to fuck the fan up and fuck his girlfriend up or fuck your wife up, whatever it was. That's um, that's not acceptable, um, but it's also unacceptable if the fans said what he said. The problem is with Utah Jazz fans is that this is becoming an increasingly known issue that Utah Jazz fans are really, really, really bad. A couple years ago, James Harden was flash in the eye with a laser pointer while he was taking free throws. Um, I typed in Utah Jazz fan in Google, and I came up with a treasure trove of information on just how bad Utah Jazz fans are. Um, Utah Jazz rowdy fan base tangles up with Kevin Durant. Uh, Russell Westbrook blast Utah Jazz fans. This was last year. Enos Cantor, Utah Jazz fans... A uh, Utah Jazz home crowd is the NBA's worst. Um, where is the other one that I saw? Uh, Ex-ESPN writer Rick Buecher tangles with Jazz fans. It is unfortunate that all fans of the Utah Jazz get lumped into a few bad apples. But the unfortunate part is... I think there's a lot of bad Utah Jazz fans. And it's unfair. And it sucks. But there has to be a way that we can uh, we can start to have a conversation about this. About what can be done to maybe separate the fans from the players a little bit more. Because this could have easily gone a very bad way. Russell Westbrook has clearly had plenty of problems with Utah Jazz fans. And all it takes is one night for him to snap and to run into the stands. And the stands are right there. I don't know what the solution is, but there has to be something. And, you know, maybe it's good that this blow-up happened, that we're finally spotlighting um, this issue. But... Fans do not have the right. Yeah, they buy the tickets. Yeah, they pay for player salary. But you don't have the right to yell vulgar things at a, at a, at a player playing a game. Come on. You're a grown man. Players also don't have the right to freak out. I don't know. I'm glad that this issue is coming up because it's obviously going to be something that um, people are going to talk about for a while. And maybe this is something that um, the NBA can have a healthy discussion with. And maybe, just maybe, one day Utah Jazz fans won't be complete trash. <laughs>